experience. Please stand by. Right, let's slow it down and welcome back to another red alert video. We've got yellow, L Armor Dildo, pink Oliver Flock, Cyan, L Armor Dillo, and myself playing the same Ep of Tor, orange, versus red camo pillbox, blue Vorky, green Boycher, and purple God knows what that name is. I think that's Shizzle Dizzle. Because uh, he's a decent player, and obviously this is on the map. Twin Waters, we are on the left, and our opponents are on the right. As you can see, they've got one Soviet player. We are mainly allies. And let's get into it. New construction options. Building. So we've deployed our MCV. Usual build order, getting the power up and then the barracks. Um, I've never started here before on this side, this area, so I'll be honest, I was unsure where the patch of gems was, so I knew I was right next to a, an all patch, but I was over it there and thinking, where's the gems? Um, I was convinced as well that what happens a lot of the time on this, you know, you get infantry attack with a lot of infantry. So I'm trying to get a decent amount of infantry, so I do spend a lot of money on infantry. When that harvester came out there, I was thinking, like, where's my gems? I thought there was gems surrounding the that ore patch, but I couldn't see any. I can see them there, so I instruct my harvester to go and get them. Because obviously I'm, I'm producing a lot of infantry there. I've, I've run out of money already. I really, really struggle to get the funds going in this game for some strange reason. Normally, the tactic on this is build you know, two to three war factories and go for three war factories and just pump light tanks out. And you can usually get them out pretty quick. But I do seem to struggle for to yes, get funds on this one and it's, uh, it's a bit annoying, but there's a crate there. So I don't know if I've spotted that. That's gone now. Yeah, I built a couple of men to try and get that crate. It's gone now. I could have done with the getting a money crate because I'm really struggling to get the funds in at the moment. We can see that my teammates nearly getting the red war factory down side. I was hoping to try and get my infantry to attack blue and red's infantry. But it didn't pay out and lost quite a few men there. I'm trying to get me this is this is me just trying to get my second war factory up. And you can see just how much I'm struggling to get the funds in. So I'm going back to try and direct the ore truck. Because I'm thinking, why am I struggling to get the funds in? I mean, Cyan's got tanks rolling out already. And I'm still trying to build my second ore truck. But when I watch the replay. Uh, he'd started right next to uh, a gem patch, so he was just hammering the gems, he was mining the gems straight away, and I'm just mining normal ore, I'm trying to, I've spotted some more gems there. Like I say, no excuses, but I've never started in this section of the map before, so I really do take a long time to sort of get going, it really hampers my game, I'm instructing that to try and get the ore right next to my ore factory, just to try and get some money in quick. Because I'm just really struggling for funds. Unit ready. Building. So I'm just getting some power up and going. I know a lot of people don't build a radar. But one, I do like to see what's going on. And two, I know on the recordings, a lot of people do like you to build a radar. Helps you to see, you know, as you're watching it, what's going on in the game. It really does help. That's me just checking that, you know, he's pink on our side. Yeah, he was, yeah. Don't attack that man, he's a teammate. I'm just thinking now I, I need to get some more harvester on the go because... Yeah, I'm just running out of funds far too much. So we'll just we'll deploy that. Uh, now, as you can see, at the top of the map there... Ping, our teammate, Oliver Fluck, he's been getting attacked. Unit um, so we will go building. and have a look and see what was going on there. 
So this is just when uh, purple and green launched an attack on pink. This is going on just as we're starting to get busy. At the bottom of the map I've moved me men and a couple of horses just to the bottom there. I'm just getting my forces ready. Cyan's already on the attack. This is what was going on at the top of the map. As you can see that purple's, uh, sorry, um, pink's just getting decimated by purple and blue. He's trying to expand his base down to the gems, which isn't always a bad idea, but it hasn't worked out. He hasn't had enough tanks to defend and he's got overrun. So that's pink out, more or less. He's not gonna, it's not gonna last long. Uh, green's got shed loads of tanks moving on and yellow, it doesn't look like yellow's got enough to defend. So he's gonna go down shortly. Blue's still taking out pink, that's pink gone. All Earth looks gone, that's our first teammate gone. While all that's going on, Cyan is getting stuck into Blue's base. I'm trying to get stuck into Red's base, but I really haven't got much forces at this time. I, I just could not believe how much I was struggling uh, to get the funds in. Uh, you'll notice my name is Kia Sausages. UK folks will get that at the moment on the replay. Obviously, in the game, I was Step Tour, St. Ep of Tour. That was my name in the game. Obviously, by the time I've downloaded the replay, I've changed my name. So that's why my name is displaying there. It's Kia's Sausages in Orange, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, luckily for us, Green is having to go back and defend his base. So we'll go back to the in game view now. This was just when Green and Purple had mocked up Pink's base at the top. And we're starting to move on to Yellow's base. And th that wall there actually really did help Red because I was really struggling to try and get that Tesla coil down. And it, it just seemed like my tanks just could not destroy that wall at all. Uh, luckily Cyan's coming in now to do some damage on Red. So I'll take the opportunity. The power's gone down now, the test coil stopped firing. I'll take the opportunity now to try and take that out. Take some of his buildings out. With my four tanks. I've cancelled that now, I just, I just need to get the funds in and get the tanks rolling. And I really am still going to have to pull back because three light tanks against four Soviet heavy tanks. There's only going to be one winner. Especially if he starts moving them, which he is, so he's noticed he's moved that a little bit. If he doesn't move them here, I can destroy these tanks quite easily with my lesser forces. Because they'll take less damage. So I'm just trying to work away and get these tanks. Well, to get rid of these tanks, I can start working on his builders if we can get red out. As you can see, yellow's getting decimated at the top. But there's nothing we can do about it. Cyan's trying to take out blue. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can on red. I'm starting to get some funds in now. I've got a good few harvesters on the go. So hopefully I can start getting some money and start producing some tanks. Starting to get a few more forces now. So hopefully we can take red out with his impenetrable concrete walls, it seems like. As we just check in there, Green's coming down. I think he's he's trying to flood back to his base. That's what I was going to say when I was just we were watching the Observer View replay. So I'm just letting Cyan. I'm going to try and send some tanks up there. Because I don't think Cyan's realised that Purple's in on his base. And he's going to get wiped out if he's not careful. Uh, that made me laugh during the game. One dumb fuck set to 5k on this map. <laughs> it was in. That's probably what screwed me up. I, I didn't actually realise it was 5k. It was a 5k start when the game started. You know, it's my bad for not realising, but I honestly didn't realise it was a 5k start. Uh, and I think that caught me up. But it's the same for everyone. You know, if I start on 5k, everyone starts on 5k. 
So, you know, you can't really use it as an excuse. That's for just trying to help. Uh, my team here, because there's only us two left now. And I, I can't see what purple's got. And we can't see everything what green's got. So I'm just doing my best to try and mop these up. Uh, and at this point, what I should have been doing was, instead of building that war factory, uh, I should have been building a service depot and going multi MCV and either moving to the middle to get the gems or moving up to where yellow used to be and start mining that. That, that, that was, that's my biggest downfall on this game. Uh, thinking back to it is, I just thought, well, I'll stay as I am, I'll just pump tanks out, we'll push forward and we'll see if we can wipe them out. But I should have, in hindsight, I should have been going multi MCV now. Just warning my teammate, they, there's some tanks north of his base. But I, I don't think he's got much to try and defend. So I'm, I'm going to try and send some forces back. Because if he gets wiped out, it's one versus two, then I'm screwed if I'm on my own. I really do need to keep my teammate in this, in this game. I'm just going to send some forces up. I think he's lost. I'm not sure. I think he's lost his, lost his MCV. If he has whatever he loses now, he can't replace. That green's trying to get on my base. We can start better. He's moving back now. Uh, I'm moving some forces up the middle to see what, see if I can sneak through there. But obviously, purples spotted what I was up to, and he starts sending some reinforcements to that area to stop me getting in. So I quickly realise I'm not going to defeat them. So what I'll do is I'll try and get some vision on his base before they go down just to see what's going on, what he's got. So I'm going to lose them tanks anyway, so I'm just, I'm just trying to open the map up a bit again. Here, I'm building a, I should have been building a repair bay so that I can go. I need to get more funds in. I should have been putting a, I'm in the middle of the map there, wide open. It's a lot easier in retrospect when you're watching it than it is for the viewers now if you're watching this to think, well, what, what the hell is he doing? Why is he building a service depot? Send an MCV or two out, get to the top of the map, get to the middle of the map, get the gems. And I agree if you're thinking that, it's exactly what I should have been doing. But at the time, when you're playing the game, you're concentrating on it so much on like one thing, which is now I'm thinking, now can we push up? Can we get through there? Yes, sir. Mm, not likely, but because I'm concentrating so much on that, I'm not taking a step back and thinking, Unit right, let's ready. build a repair bay, mm, let's get a couple of MCVs out, let's really start expanding. That's what I should have been doing. So that's my teammate saying, go around. I use the select all units, which is stupid because my force is near there now on the right. I'm starting to move towards their tanks and some of them are getting took out. So that was a bit of a stupid thing to do. I should have left some forces there actually to help Cyan. I shouldn't be moving everything up. But like the idiot, I do. And then they move in and start mopping his tanks up. Now, obviously, Purple's noticed what I'm doing again. They've obviously got probably similar vision like to what we've got on them areas, especially in the middle of the map. And I know purple will have a lot of vision yes, at the top because they've swept across yes, the top, so they'll have all that vision. Yes, sir. So any moves we make, yes, that, you know, they're gonna spot it. So I'm just trying to split my yes, forces. I'm trying to defend here and move some units up to the top. And I'm hoping this will stop purple attacking us from the top as well. But again, in hindsight, I think what I should have done once I realised I couldn't attack purple. At the top, he's just got too many forces for me to get through. I can't get through that. My tanks just get wiped out. I should have pulled them back to the river crossing. And I should have defended that gap there. That's where I should be rather than leave my forces there. Because he could just come steaming past anyway. So I should have moved my forces back to that gap. 
where the river crossing is, and that would stop purple tap through there. Yeah, I was just trying to sort my ore trucks out, and my teammate did say, I think something along the lines of, the ore trucks are stuck. But again, in the heat of the moment when you're playing, you know, you don't. Sometimes you, you miss a lot of the text and the speech, what people are saying. As you concentrate on like individual tank battles and whatnot. So I was just trying to bend off green again. As I'm watching this now, I am thinking to myself, I can't believe I aren't going multi MTV. What a huge mistake that is. I think if I'd have gone multi MCV, sent one to the top left of the map, started mining there, sent one to the middle of the map, especially the middle, started mining the gems, I could have got so many more tanks and forces because I just keep running out of money constantly. Um, it could have been a, a very different game to the one that it currently is and what happens. I think that's just him leaving the game. He's not watching. There's still a couple of them watching. Because it was quite a fun game this, you know, it's a bit to and, to and for on that, you know, backwards and forwards and they're encroach on us, we encroach on them. We attack, they attack, a bit of back and forth. It's a fun game to play this actually. It's a very fun game. Now I decide. Oh, let's go multi MTV. I've noticed that he's. I thought Purple was being quiet for quite some time, and I wondered what he was up to. And I was watching, thinking, is he trying to do engineers? Is he trying to do Tanya? And what the sneaky little git was doing was, he was. And oh, this is where the game freezes. I hate it when it does this. He was building a huge bloody navy up to check out my tanks. And now he's moving on. I mean, this is when. Like I said, I should have been at the uh, the river crossing. I would have been able to defend better. Now I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to take them tanks on. So this is me trying to just bring me forces all the way down here now. I've run out of power. I'll sell that. I'll get some power back. That's me power back up and running. So this is me trying. To, I'm going to build an MCV and try and get it on that gem patch. But I think you know it possibly could be a little bit too late. A little bit too, little too late, but we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. The green's coming in with a, a half decent force there. Should have enough to fend him off. But I can see purple at the top of the map moving in, and there's, there's nothing I can do. I'm trying to get my MTV up there now. Cyan's obviously noticed purple coming in. I can't go and help him because I'm. Still trying to deal with green, and then green's got more tanks coming in. Purple's got a few tanks down the bottom as well, defending the river crossing. So it's not looking good for me, teammate. And he said, You know, we are done, and uh, yeah, I fear so. But it was a good game. We'll see how it turns out. It's not looking very good for us at the moment. I think the green has spotted my. MCV going up there, I was hoping he might think it was just a tank if he was looking on the radar but no, he spotted it so I'm still going to deploy that and because he's only sent a few tanks at the moment I have sold that to get some money back I am going to try and deploy some turrets and, and I was hoping if the turrets could take a few tanks out even if I lose my ore refinery if I've still got a building of sorts there I could build another ore refinery and pop it down there so I've just hoping that he's just left them there to, to deal with it he's not really concentrating I've switched the pillboxes because they build quicker and I'm hoping that um, these pillboxes can sort these tanks out and once I've destroyed them I can build a little orifier and start getting the funds in and you know build some power maybe some radar there but alas that uh, plan's gone out the window because green's just sent too many tanks up so i'll have to abandon that now i'm out of money i don't know what that means greedy orange from red okay i mean i have no idea what that means 
Is it because I was trying to go for the gems? I don't know. <laughs> Probably was. But there's no hate. It was a fun game. And yeah, it's not really looking good for me at the moment. I mean, this would be a comeback. Comeback if, uh, if I come back from this. But alas, it is not going to happen. But this is how the game goes sometimes. You don't always win. You know, you get some days where you'll, you can lose five games in a row. Some days you win five games in a row. And this is just how it goes sometimes. But it was a very good game, as Fred was saying. It was, a, it was a very fun game to be involved with. And I have learned a lot playing this game. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And we'll see you on the next one, I guess. Oh, this is me just... Uh, trying to get as many tanks as I could. Right, like I said, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you on the next one.